Hey guys, what's up? This is Shubhari from eGadgets for you and in this video, I will actually show you the setup like you have seen already over here. I will set up this particular uh, router that I bought for myself because my current router of TP-Link was showing a lot of ping loss as you can see in this particular screenshot that I have taken over here. It was a huge mess. There was no issues. I tried each and every possible way but it was not going along great. I don't know. I have to send it to the service center as well but now my work will be hampered so i have actually purchased this d-link one the wireless n300 router and in this we will unbox and i'll set up and i'll show you how to set up this particular router and over the course of period of time i'll show the performance of this particular router as well so let's get started so guys this is a box actually i have purchased this particular device uh not from any online retail but i'll put the buying link in the description as well so it will help you to actually get to this particular router as well and yes the plastic covering is there i got it for a price of 1100 rupees in amazon yeah you can get it from amazon i'll put the buying link in the description as i have to so yeah it's a very easy setup just open the box this installation guide is over here this is a very good thing you can refer it uh, refer to this particular installation guide when you are like installing this router and the standard ethernet cable that you get uh is also present over here the power adapter this is very very important to power the router as well so this is a power adapter over here as you can see and the most important thing is the router let me put aside the box for now so yes this is the d-link n300 router and as you can see one two three and four so there are four antennas as we speak yeah if i just put it over here yeah you can see it's four antenna uh, router over here before anything else let me set this up very very quickly and to set this up i have my wire uh, the ethernet cable that comes directly from my internet isp internet service provider as well this ethernet port uh, should go inside the van the yellow mark level over here as you can see it's very important that it just goes in one way only so yeah that is done but before that i need to give power to the router right so let me just go ahead and do that okay guys before setting up the things what i need to make sure is that i don't need this ethernet cable so i'm putting aside for now and yes uh, i have to power off the modem the modem that i have from the isp provider over here that was given to me i will switch it out plug in this particular um, router plug it uh, then after plugging on giving power to this particular router i will switch on the modem and wait for one minute for the following step to occur so for now i'm pausing the video and then i'll start the configuration which i'll again show you in the recorded screen Okay guys, I have actually given power to this particular router but you can see none of the LEDs are working because I have not yet turned on the router. I have put my modem on. This is very important because uh, once I switch on the uh, router for the very first time, the modem should be on uh, off and see this is the power that is protruding out. So I am just pressing it and yeah, you will see immediately the power uh, shows over here and there is power, WAN, LAN, Wi-Fi, WPS. Okay. Well, uh, a whole lot of things are there let me just put this cable back off my laptop and yes okay guys after turning on my modem and waiting for one minute it's been done and i can see all my signals are actually coming over here in this particular led signal the power the van the wi-fi the wps now i will set up this particular router with my laptop and i have to use the wi-fi configuration because the ethernet cable you can also do a like uh, configure your router for the very first time using an ethernet cable but as you know for the past five six years the laptops do not provide you uh, ethernet port actually so yeah my macbook pro also does not have it so what i'll do is that at first i need to connect to the um, base internet that is there in the router by uh, by base internet you will actually find that particular information in the sticker above now it's very uh, difficult for me to show but yeah i'll try yes if you just like uh put your router like this you will see that there are some informations over here that uh says about the wife uh that that that, that tell, tells the wi-fi uh sorry not the wi-fi the router name actually the dir 650in and over here if you look closely it will also uh, show you the password now it says password leave the field blank so for the password i have to leave it blank and i have to actually look for this 2.4 g ssid dealing 8 b 2 c this particular uh, wi-fi i have to check and the next screen that you will see from now onwards is a screen recording in my macbook pro so guys now the recording has started and of course what i'll do is that i will just go to my wi-fi signal over here and i'll look uh, just switch it off once then switch it 
back on and i will look for this particular t-link 8p2c the one that i've showed you the ssid name that was uh, in the back of my router so i'm just going ahead and connecting it it didn't ask for password also even if uh, would have asked for my password i would have given it blank as it was mentioned in the router also now you have to do uh, type 192.168.0.1 hit enter it says uh, username password and in the manual at this point of time just refer to the manual the username and, uh, username and password are uh, written in the manual but it says admin and admin so yes uh, it opens into this uh, wizard screen over here i want to set it up as a router so over here i'll go ahead and just give the name of the router and yes it should be a fair, it depends upon internet service provider i'll setting it as a router not as a repeater not as an access point or something like that and again uh, my internet service provider the alliance broadband has a fixed ip so i'll go ahead and enter the ips over here it's pretty much it let me just go ahead and hit save and apply okay change settings success successfully do not turn off or reboot the device during this time please wait for this time give this time actually this is very very important please don't do anything else please wait 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 and wait and uh, actually it's done don't be worried that unable to connect because I have actually changed my router's name and everything. So now again, I have to go over here, the router connection, the Wi-Fi, let me put it off and again, switch it on and just wait. Yeah, this is my Wi-Fi. So now it's done and yeah, it's connected. It should be connected. It should be connected. I have not yet given my password. So it's not password protected yet. That I have to do, which I'll show you again in the next step. Mm, yeah. Okay, open network login page. It's actually from my internet service provider. I have to uh, log in. Okay, now again, I will go ahead and visit uh, the 192.168.0.1 and enter. Yes, I am actually over here. The setup has been done. I need to go to advanced over here uh, to give uh, it some security the passwords and all yeah that is very very important or else anybody will be able to access my internet i went to the advanced over here you will find wireless so i'll go ahead and select wireless over here okay once i'm in the wireless section i have to go to the security settings over here okay now uh, once over here <laughs> once i'm over in this particular security setting page this is my wi-fi router as you know so i have to enable the encryption here yeah, and you have to select which type of encryption you want i am going ahead with the wpa2 so this is good uh, so now what i will do is that i will go ahead and give a password over here and after i enter the passport uh, password then it will be all right i guess let me go ahead and give it okay it says save i go ahead and give save and yes it's done so that is it guys i hope this video was helpful for you all guys and yeah, I have successfully actually configured my router over here and I'll go ahead and use it from now onwards. Hope so this video was helpful. If you found this particular video helpful, consider liking and sharing with your friends and families. And while we are at it, stay subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bells. A lot of updates pertaining to techs will be seen in here in this particular channel very, very soon. That will be guys for this particular video. Bye for now.